What's going on, y'all? We're back with another reaction video today. We have DJ Turner, cornerback out of Michigan, uh, 5'11", 178. They had a pretty good season, if I'm not mistaken, if I don't recall. He only had one pick this year, but the fastest cornerback in the draft this year are in a 4-2-6. It seems like we have uh, somebody crack a 4-2 every year. Been uh, very consistent in the past few years, I feel like, 4-2 every year. Um, they have him ranked as the 14th overall cornerback on draft buzz. Um, it says when targeted, the QB has a 62.1 passer rating. His overall rating is an 84 out of 100. It's not bad. So it's considered a pretty solid corner. Give him an 84 on tackling, 84 overall tackling, 78 overall run defense, 84 in coverage, 78 in zone, and man and press 83. So I guess we're going to see some man man coverage here. Uh, his strength, super athletic corner, who was outstanding during his final two years at Michigan. Um, can get up on the line of scrimmage and deliver a solid punch early in routes. Then use that quickness to shadow or back off and close quickly when the ball comes out. I love fast corners. I love the potential of them because they have limitless potential. Um, if, they, if you can hone technique, you know, it's the same thing with fast receivers, too, but, you know, with cornerbacks, you can keep up with anybody. But if they can get down technique and fundamentals, you can keep up with anybody, you know. Uh, but it doesn't always play out like that. Um, can So, Turner can flip his hips and run with good top-end speed and the length to make plays on the ball. Can run and blanket even the fastest receivers deep. Possesses great, great instincts with timing. Made Bruce Feldman's freak list, ranked number 31. He wrote, he is the fastest guy on the Wolverines, having hit 23.07 miles per hour on the GPS and run a 4.2840. So he beat that. He ran a 4.26 out of a two-point stance, no less. His three-cone time. Okay, so we'll, we'll skip all that. Uh, considering his somewhat slight frame, he's excellent and sturdy tackler and consistently wraps up ball carriers. That's fluidity and speed and quick feet to come down to defend slot receivers and man coverage. He also does a nice job breaking down in space as a tackler after the catch. A change of direction ability. Uh, does a good job getting his head around in time when playing with his back to the line of scrimmage. Has the ability to cover quickness underneath. Has a high football IQ. That's always good. And studies the QB's eyes, enabling him to actively jump routes. I like to see that. Has a high football IQ. His weaknesses, much better man corner, not very comfortable in zone, especially when asked to guard the middle. Feet aren't ideal as Turner gets sloppy in his back pedal and can look sluggish when transitioning close to the ball. Um, has only a limited overall length. Will struggle against taller receivers, especially in jump ball situations. Can be a liability in the red zone. Not much of a ball hawk. Has made just three interceptions throughout his college career. I mean, hey, shutdown is shutdown at the end of the day for me. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Scouts will likely see him as a nickel or slot coverage corner. He's not big enough to hold up on the edge, despite playing on the outside role in college. He may draw plenty of flags early with his playing style. Turner is hesitant. <sighs> Some of this worries me, but, you know. Excuse me. Let's see how it play out. Like I said, it's, it's, it's tough with speedy corners, you know. We don't really see that play out the, the best, you know, at least in history. I, go, nah, I can't say that. Like elite speed corners every year, that is typically not the best corner. Now, Tariq Woolen was different last year, but typically it's always a little different. Nah, yeah, very yeah. Said Kalijah Canty, not haven't reacted to him yet. Kalen Barnes, we ain't really seen Kalen pan out yet. We'll see how you, how you, you know. It was his rookie year, rookie year last year, so we see. Uh, scouting report summary. DJ Turner is a super athletic speedy corner who will most likely put up crazy numbers at the combine. He's much more than a twitchy athlete. However, he, he's put up two impressive years at Michigan, even against top competition. While demonstrating excellent press man skills, Turner is far from a finished product as he's small for a corner and possesses only average overall length and catch radius as well as looking pretty raw when targeting in zone coverage. Despite these reservations, his upside is significant and can be overlooked. He'll not last past the end of the third round in the 23 draft. So he's solid then. 
That's it. We got third round projection. At least third. That's pretty good. Shout out to California. I check them out. All right, let's get to it. Fourth and seven. Bring it up to me again. In a slot right here. Him with a scoop. He got to take this home. Ooh, stiff arm. Okay. If you're Clay Millen here, you gotta have that clock go off and say, hey, I gotta get rid of the football. They've been harassing me all day. Number five. Didn't Jabril wear number five? Always play through the whistle. They didn't blow it down. Okay. DJ Turner on the ones in the affair here in Ann Arbor, and it's turning out to be exactly that. Yelling the starting quarterback out to the right side of hard hit. That was a solid hit. That was solid. Okay, 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 okay. Good coverage. Kept his eyes on the receiver. Kept his feet moving. Nice press. Okay. A little tangled up. That's a good pick. They got a little tangled up a little further down the field, but I give it to him. Great, great pick. Great pick. Ooh. It looked like the throw wasn't bad. He just didn't hold on to it. Mm. I don't know if that. Would you call that holding right there? Was that Charlie Jones? That is Charlie Jones. Well, Charlie didn't play some competition. That's a good tackle. Okay, very, very much a willing, you know, willing tackler. He could, um, he could definitely add some side, you know, some weight, but. Ooh. He played bigger, bigger than what he is for sure. Uh-oh, he about to hug him down. Cut it on. Cut it on. Oh my gosh. He got a nice back pedal, like a smooth, smooth technique. That was a nice play. Say he got cooked in the TCU game. Jeez. Who, who was cooking them? I forgot they played in the playoffs. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. Ohio State got some dogs. He played in the... um. He definitely played some competition. Ooh, okay. Hey, Bro looks solid. He looks solid. Um. Like I said, I like I like his um footwork, I like his back pedal. Like they said, smooth hips. Uh, he could probably add some weight. And, and the good thing about it is, even if he had weight, he wouldn't lose that much speed. He runs a four two, so it's like you're not losing too much speed. Um, and that's just from a physicality standpoint, you know. So he could preserve his body a little longer. But um, other than that, though, it looked like he's solid. You know, probably work on. Catching, he dropped a few picks, but he looked like a pretty solid corner, honestly. He'd be a solid pick. He's a small corner. His height's fine. He's 5'11. He's just 178. That's all. You know, he probably like I said, add, add, some, uh, add some pounds. That's all. Probably like 12, 10 or 12. I think that's cool. Good 12 pounds. That's cool. 
But hey, man, we're in it there. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned. Stay blessed. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Ain't no need to play games. I'm cool with zeros on the stat sheet. I don't care if you knew Patrick Mahomes. Them lies you telling won't get past me. If it's meant to be, I'm not gonna ask for a second chance. I'm only gonna ask you once after that, then it's out my hands. I'm not gonna question, just accept it, part of God's plan.